how to conquer your life, how to conquer your goals, how to accomplish anything you set yourself to accomplish. The reason why I'm here in 2024, having one of the most luxurious lifestyles that you can have living in Dubai. I left behind a very nice home, looking at the sea, an amazing setup, an efficient setup with amazing internet, a maid in the house that cleans and cooks, a 24 seven available driver for myself that I can tell him to go do things or bring me here or drive me there. I left behind the luxury of Dubai. I came here into an apartment where we take in showers with cold water out of a bucket. In an apartment where we're sleeping on the floor. In an apartment where we, when we first got in, there was a, a mouse on the floor, a dead mouse. An apartment with no AC, no fence. In a country that gets dusty very quickly. But you cannot close the windows because otherwise it will be too hot. In a country where you never know when is the next time that the electricity will cut off or that the water will cut off. So you have to keep a bucket of water in case the water cut off. And you just have to adapt to the fact that at any moment, the internet, the electricity can cut off and you might, you know, lose, lose the possibility of using the internet in however you wanted to use it. I have all of that luxury to come here. And the question is why? Why would you do that, Ya Muhammad? Ya Muhammad Al-Andalusi, why would you do that? And the reason is because since I was 18, when I was 18, I left to Egypt. And the first year I sacrificed all my time to learn the Arabic language. On the second year, I started memorizing the Quran alongside with developing the skills that I gained the first year when I focus on, on, memori on learning the Arabic language. And since 18 years old, I have, I have had this eagerness and hunger to memorize the Quran. However, when I started memorizing, I was only by the tawfiq of Allah able to memorize about about let's say about 12 Jews by the age of 22, 23, 24. I can't remember right now exactly. And then subhanAllah, life hit me in a way where he put me in a position where I didn't revise any of that Quran for like six, seven years. And only last year, I was able to regather everything that I had memorized, those two of Jews, those two of chapters out of 30 chapters in the Quran. And I still have two chapters to recover. So all together, we could say that I have memorized half of the Quran. And, and, and the reason why I came to Mauritania is for that, is to sacrifice all my time to memorize this book that will give me all the words that Allah has ever revealed to humanity, put them in my heart. And inshallah, I ask Allah Azza wa to grant me as well the application of it and living by it and breathing it and revising it every day. Now going back to going back on how to conquer your life, how to conquer your goals, how to accomplish anything you set yourself to accomplish in your life. How many people do you know that disappear for a certain amount of time 
one month, two months, three months, five months, six months, and come back better with something accomplished, having memorized the Quran or having learned Arabic or having gotten fit, <coughs> fit or having grown their business to a respectable amount of revenue. Not many people are willing to do so. And this is why when you are willing to do so, you become different. You don't become different because you gain some superpowers or something like that. You just become different because that's what it takes to accomplish things, to block out time, to focus and do the tasks that will lead to you accomplishing those goals day in, day out. That's what the great scholars, what the great athletes, what the great authors, what the great entrepreneurs have done in order for them to accomplish the respectable accomplishments that people praise them for. You need to be able to block out time. You need to be able to focus. You need to be able to turn off the noise or to avoid the noise, the distractions, and put your head down and do the task that will lead you to accomplishing those goals. All it takes is six months sometimes, one year. For you to disappear and put your head down on those tasks that would lead you to becoming the person that you, want, that you want to become. And wallahi, just one year, just six months, depending on the, on the goal and its significance, it can, it can put you in a whole different spectrum and in a whole different level of an individual. But the secret to getting ahead is getting started. And many people lack that power to put one foot in front of another. The first step, many people lack that power. From the benefits of being able to do this is that you are then able to to block out time and accomplish whatever goal you tell yourself to accomplish. Like for example, now I'm here for three months in Mauritania or two months memorizing the Quran, which inshallah bi'ithnillah, I will keep you guys updated on, on the progress on this. But you could, you could do the same thing going to Thailand and staying there for three months and get you a boxing coach and just learn the art of boxing or the art of Muay Thai or the art of Jiu Jitsu or whatever you want to do or go Brazil and learn the art of Jiu Jitsu same way you can do you can do with entrepreneurship you can block out time and go to somewhere just leave close to some successful entrepreneur so you can wash wash his car or wash the dishes at his house or do whatever you you can do for him to to get close to him so he can teach you whatever he whatever you want to learn from him and i do get it i do get it especially the life in the west it's hard to it's hard to not be busy it's hard to not have responsibility it's hard to not go to work and come back home and be completely exhausted to the point where you don't even feel like doing anything else and you know what you have to do but your routine is just not it's just not made to help you do so i remember subhanallah when i was living for like a year when i didn't have money being in egypt and i wanted to continue my studies i used to go to to london to deliver food with uh, Uber Eats and Deliveroo. And subhanAllah, the country, just the weather, the country, the setup of the 
streets, etc. It was so hard for me to to get the willingness out of somewhere to get fit, to just stay healthy, go work out, etc. Whatever it was, the weather, the just the environment, it, it, it was just not made for me for that particular goal to get to get fit. However, when I go to Barcelona, for example, my hometown, the sun, the setup of the streets, having the beach not far away from my house. It, like the environment helps to, to get fit, to want to start because you see people, you see people running, etc. And I do get it. Being in, in the West, sometimes it's hard to, like the environment, the environment doesn't help. And this is why I'm telling you guys that sometimes you have to block out time and leave to a country like this and memorize the Quran, learn Arabic, whatever you might be. And I do get it. You need the money. You need the resources. You need the knowledge. You need perhaps a community of brothers that can help you and that can push you and that perhaps even want to do it with you. And that's my vision with Andalus Institute. With Andalus Institute, it started as how to learn Arabic, but I realized that when I was in Egypt, in order for me to want to go to Egypt to learn Arabic, I had to I had to build that eagerness. And that eagerness only came with knowledge. Not too much knowledge, but just the most known pieces of information about the religion that makes your iman that makes your iman race. And that Iman is just the greatest boost of motivation to do that first step that everybody is froze to do and that prevents them to do it. And that's why in Andalus Institute now, we're going to have three core programs. The main program and the main course will always be Arabic like an Arab 2.0, or sorry, Arabic like an Arab or just the Kashf al-Mufradat curriculum which is the new um, curriculum that we developed to, to replace, inshallah, the Medina books and the Arabia Bini Adik books, so at least to be mentioned next to it, you're going to learn Arabic. But in order for you to continue learning Arabic and to be emotionally attached to the goal of learning the Arabic language, you need to have that little knowledge, that must-known knowledge. And that's why we're going to have one program called, called Islamic Literacy. When you have Islamic Literacy, you know why Allah Azza created you. You know the purpose. You know what it takes to follow the Prophet Sallallahu You know why you have to follow the Prophet Sallallahu You know what are these benefits in your life when you do so. The most known knowledge about the deen. It gives you that eagerness to, to be here. Like, why am I here? Why am I living all this luxury? Why am I living the luxury of somebody who makes seven figures, over a million dollars a year in Dubai to come here next to, to be breathing, <laughs> to be sniffing sand every day? It's only that knowledge that converts into into eagerness to do more for Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ Indeed, the only ones, or rather the ones who really believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, or who really fear Allah Azza wa Jal, is al-ulama, coming from the word ilm, which means knowledge. Those who have knowledge. So you can't really fear Allah Azza wa Jal without knowledge. Then in order for you to do to be able to do this, of course you need the resources, as we said. That's where the program Earn While You Learn comes into the picture. The program Earn While You Learn is 
a system that I'm teaching my students on how to build monthly reoccurring income by using already a proven system, a plug and play system that has already, already been proven by me for the past five years. Students, alhamdulillah, already started making money and we, and we haven't even completed one month yet of, of, launch, of having launched this program. And then I believe that in order for you to be able to have that energy to wake up in the morning and memorize and go through those books and learn that, that must-know knowledge and, and learn those mutun, those books, those simplified fundamental books, in order for you to take your bags and go to these countries and in order for you to have good sleep and in order for you to just be efficient, you need to get fit. You need to be in shape. You need to know how to be in shape. And even if you slack a few months with your food, whatever it might be, you can still go back and follow those principles and get fit again. And that's the third program, the strength elegance. I will teach you how to get strong and be elegant about it, meaning looking strong. Because of course, if you get strong naturally, you will you will be elegant about it. You will look strong. You will look fit. So I teach in there how to get rid of your fat, how to get rid of your belly. And just keep a shaped body. And from amongst the things that gives you that eagerness and that willingness to, to get up and take risk and go do something, catch a flight, go to the desert and start memorizing and wake up every day and have that energy. It's testosterone. And it's known that the more fat you have in your body, the less testosterone you have. So these three main core programs, Earn While You Learn, that teaches you how to make money, gives you, gives you financial freedom and location freedom. Then Islamic literacy gives you that push, that boost of motivation to worship Allah Azza wa Jalla and, and knowing that That you're gonna go, you're gonna die anyways. Allah says to the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, you are dead and they're gonna be dead as well. We all gonna die. Each soul will taste death. So it doesn't matter how much money you make, it doesn't matter. Yes, I will teach you how to do it. But these three core, these main three core programs will give you that mentality of an Andrews Institute student, which is, I got money on my mind, not in my heart. I got money on my mind, not in my heart. And the reason why you want money in your mind or in your hand to be able to do the things is because if you have it in your heart, it will prevent you from doing things because you're chasing the money. So these are the three core programs that will get a student blue check verified in the Andrews Institute community. And my vision in the upcoming years is to do this thing that I'm doing right now, coming to the desert, going to Thailand, going to Brazil, Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, whatever it might be, go and visit this renowned billionaire so we can learn from him, etc., etc. I'm filtering a certain amount of students that will reach that level, having completed the Arabic course, having completed the Earn While You Learn course, they make it money now, having completed the Strength Elegance course, course, they fit, they strong, they know how to get fit, they know how to get strong, and having completed the Islamic literacy, which means they, they are vetted students who are upon the Sunnah, who know about Allah and His Prophet, and take that as a lifestyle. This is my filtering. Andrews Institute now, it became a filtering in order to build a group of individuals who have those characteristics, in order for us to, once we get these individuals, go and do these type of trips and grow together and develop together and accomplish these goals together. That's how you accomplish your goals. That's how you take over and control of your life by achieving 
first of all, ilm, knowledge that will give you taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal. Because if you don't have taqwa, Allah will more likely not give you tawfiq in other things, like money. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَوْ بَسَتَ اللَّهُ الرِّزْقَ لِعِبَادِهِ لَبَغَوْ فِي الْأَرْضِ If Allah gave money, gave risk to each individual, لَبَغَوْ فِي الْأَرْضِ They would have, they would have just transgressed in the, in the, in the earth. They would have just gone mad. Because people, if they don't have knowledge and you give them money, they're just gonna do stupid stuff. So first, you get the knowledge that will give you the taqwa, the khashya. Then you get the money that will allow you to do things to get more of that knowledge, to get closer to Allah, to live a lifestyle that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. And then you get fit in order for you to have long years, inshallah, stay healthy and take care of this amana, your body, the ethical responsibility that Allah gave you with your body. You need to take care of your body. So this is my vision with Andalus Institute. And I'm eagerly waiting for those students who see this vision, who will meet, who will meet me up here and get the blue check mark. Those individuals who are going to be making money, going to be knowledgeable, going to be in shape, and will have successfully complete the Arabic language or learn the Arabic language. I am eagerly waiting for them. And I hope that you watching and you are not part of Andalus Institute, you join us on this mission and you join us on this vision and aim to become part of the Blue Checkmark community. So far, that's the name that we gave it, Blue Checkmark community. If you are interested in being part of this Blue Checkmark community and achieving all these skills, then go ahead and click the link down below. And inshallah, me and my friend here will meet you on the other side. Thank you.